Hi there, Jennifer Roberts here with a tutorial for X-Plane. Today we'll take a look at three troubleshooting steps for X-Plane. Update, remove add-ons, and reset to default preferences. If the sim crashes repeatedly or won't even load to a flight, these are simple steps you can take to see if they get you flying again. First off, it's always a good idea to use the latest version of the simulator because it has the most fixes and features. This is especially true for beta users. Always get the new beta as soon as it's available. Xplain should tell you if there's a newer version available, but if you're ever in doubt, simply run the installer and pick the Update Xplain option. This update option can even repair files if your install has gotten modified or is incomplete in some way. The next trick is to try removing add-ons. Sometimes these add-ons just don't play nice with X-Plane or even with each other. You can simply move the custom scenery and the plug-in folders to the desktop. Remember the plug-in folder is located within the resources folder. Then start X-Plane again and see if the problem has gone away. If it has, you can try to narrow down which add-on was causing it by adding them back in in small chunks until the issue comes back. If this doesn't help at all, just move the folders back. The final common troubleshooting tip is to reset to default preferences. Your preference folder is located in the output folder. You can move this to the desktop again or just rename it. Restart X-Plane and defaults will be restored. Again, if this doesn't fix the issue for you, simply move the old preferences folder back and your exact setup will be restored. Resetting to default preferences is a great step to use when investigating potential bugs as well. Even if it turns out to be a preference related issue, you can zip and send us the old bad preferences and we'll investigate further. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.